Welcome to RBC's Markets in Motion podcast, recorded July 11th, 2022. I'm Chris Looney, Vice President on the Global Commodity Strategy and Middle East and North Africa Research Team here at RBC Capital Markets, guest hosting today and filling in for your regular host, Lori Calvacina. Before getting started, I'll remind our audience to please listen through to the end of this podcast for important disclaimers. In today's podcast, I'll be speaking on natural gas. Natural gas prices generally are attracting far more attention amid headlines of energy prices broadly, inflation worries and economic concerns, and even energy crises that have in many ways held outsized interest in the market. While global gas prices remain on another level, U.S. gas prices also reached very high levels earlier this year, and even after some recent developments, they remain quite elevated. There are three things I'll touch on today. First, geopolitical premiums are now present in U.S. natural gas markets in a way that they were not before. We draw on both an analysis we did earlier this summer, as well as some learnings after an explosion that shut down a major U.S. facility early last month. This leads us to our second point, our view for the remainder of the year. We think that natural gas prices should average north of $6 per MMBTU in the U.S., a view that actually previously was our high scenario, and this now looks more likely to be the probable one for the remainder of the year, at least in our view. Third, in all of our scenarios, U.S. natural gas prices fall. And while we are by no means returning to the lower for longer price environment that many had gotten used to, we do expect lower gas prices in 2023, albeit with the caveat that geopolitics are indeed here to stay for natural gas. First up, let's talk a bit about geopolitical premiums and the role they played in U.S. natural gas markets year to date. Generally, there have been a lot of tensions this year, all of which are playing a role in elevated prices. There's clearly been a very tense global macro backdrop, which is likely no surprise to anyone listening, and of course, acute geopolitics. Russia's war in Ukraine and the weaponization of its gas exports, according to some, are key themes in global gas markets, on top of tight fundamentals and a market itself that really just seems to want to be bullish. Importantly, U.S. LNG exports are now playing a larger role in U.S. gas markets than in years past, and this is true at the same time as global gas balances have been very tight and Russian gas flows to the EU, which they have historically relied on, have fallen. This has all upped the importance of U.S. exports. In that context, over the course of this year, we have noticed a much higher price sensitivity to storage, which is in essence the balance of fundamentals for gas markets. Previously, we warned that this elevated sensitivity would be difficult to sustain. Our analysis implied that any price over $6.35 included some arguably less justifiable and more, perhaps, difficult to sustain premiums, including geopolitical premiums. This was particularly notable in early June when gas prices were north of $9 per MMBTU. However, last month, there was an explosion at Freeport LNG Export Facility, which took the facility offline and essentially wiped out two BCF per day of U.S. gas demand, and there remain questions about when this year there could be a partial or full restart. With the resulting decrease in demand, prices fell as you can imagine. However, today, with prices still in the $6 per MMBTU, there are some clear lessons, and it seems to us that prices will remain somewhat elevated on average regardless. While on balance, the Freeport LNG shut-in loosens the U.S. natural gas balance incrementally and is responsible for the fall of gas prices from around $9 per MMBTU into the sixes, the higher price sensitivity seems set to linger longer than we thought. In fact, the natural gas price level north of $6 looks likely for the remainder of the year in our view. We think this is the case as a hotter than normal summer now looks probable. We have already seen strong domestic demand to date, and production has yet to grow materially this year. Thus, natural gas prices are likely to remain elevated for the remainder of this year in our view. Next year, however, across our scenarios, we do think that lower prices will prevail as U.S. production growth comes online later this year and into next year, and there's less structural growth in both domestic demand and exports year in year in 23. But what about the long term? Geopolitics are here to stay for natural gas in our view. While the growth of U.S. gas exports and the growth of LNG trade globally meant that the introduction of geopolitics to the U.S. and other gas markets was arguably unavoidable, 
Now, with the pivot by the EU away from Russian gas and the U.S.'s swing producer position, this means that both Europe and Asia are likely key markets for U.S. and other gas volumes on a long-term basis. And thus, again, this underscores the idea that geopolitics matter. In summary, for the balance of this year, we do think that U.S. gas prices will remain in their recent elevated range. It's clear to us that even after the shut-in of a major LNG export facility, the high sensitivity is here to stay, and fundamentally, the remainder of this year still looks tight. Over the longer term, prices may fall, but again, geopolitics are here to stay for gas markets. That's all for now. Thanks for listening, and be sure to check out our sister podcast, RBC's Industries in Motion, for thoughts on specific sectors from RBC's team of industry analysts. This content is based on information available at the time it was recorded and is for informational purposes only. It is not an offer to buy or sell or a solicitation, and no recommendations are implied. It is outside the scope of this communication to consider whether it is suitable for you and your financial objectives.